so the Donald has made a public confession to Jesus Christ. Um, I'm talking about Donald Trump. You know, nothing gets a person faster turning toward God than the fear of death, the fear of dying. And uh, I have to make the assumption that this statement um, came out after his um, attempted assassination, um, where he got um, uh, aimed at and got his ear grazed. Um, but I need to uh, bring the attention to uh, what's really going on. Usually what happens is, I mean, every human being comes into this world with amnesia, forgetting their origin, forgetting their divinity. And so most of us are only aware of our humanity, of our mortality, of our weakness. We don't know the powerful light being that we actually are. Right, that we are a divine being, that we are actually the man upstairs, the boss upstairs, as Trump calls him, that we are actually emanations of the boss upstairs. We are giving the boss upstairs conscious experience through our bodies. In other words, is we are God having a human experience. And the truth is, the truth that every awakened soul knows is that we can never die. We are divine beings. And so we, we don't fear death. Somebody shoots, us as, shoots at us, it doesn't make us run to God or Jesus Christ because we have dissolved the amnesia. We have dissolved the veil that kept us in separation consciousness of God above and us below as mortals. That's an illusion. That's an illusion of the veiled mind, the carnal mind. And so, as I say, we don't run to the boss upstairs because we know that we are an emanation. We are a fractal. We are an experience of the God upstairs having a human experience. So, people are going to be all excited about Donald Trump professing Jesus Christ as the most famous person. And it is the most, he is the most famous person because he's got the most publicity. Every other um, narrative got suppressed. <laughs> so, of course, he's the most famous. But um, that doesn't mean anything. Um, the man is still under the veil of his uh, ego. He's still under the veil of the left brain and doesn't understand, doesn't know his oneness with the Creator. Otherwise, you wouldn't be talking about the boss upstairs. Oneness would say, I am the boss downstairs. But <laughs> again, that too will be taken out of context and totally misunderstood. I can't explain oneness to you. You have to experience that through your right brain. But if you are a heavy, analytical, logical, rational kind of person, you are predominant in your left brain and you cannot perceive of oneness because the left brain is all about drawing linear lines and distinctions and having everything individualized and dissected and defined and labeled. And... Uh, Individuality is all that you can see. Separation is all that you can see. Everyone else is separate from you. But if you see it from the right brain, from the spirit side, you would see that everything is one. All is one and, and one is all. So, yeah, don't get too excited about his profession. Um, that's just um, a secular ego turning religious ego but it's still the problem of the duality-minded, the duality 
perception of the ego. Ego wears many hats. True conversion is when we switch to the right brain and discover our soul. That's why Jesus said in one of the parables when the disciples were fishing and they caught nothing, he said, cast your net on the right side of the boat and you shall catch many fish. Get into your soul, it's in the right side.